Hello friends! How's it going? I hope that you're doing well. I hope this video finds you well. I hope that life has been treating you good and being kind. <sighs> what? What to say? Okay, first off, let's address the elephant in the room. I don't know how to use these ring lights. So I'm going to turn it down. If I turn a little bit, I found that is the best angle to not get it in my glasses. Okay, how's it going? Yeah, um, so it has been a couple months since my last update. And I could give you all the excuses in the world, and some of you know, um, and they are legitimate excuses. Some of you know what's been going on because we've been chatting behind the scenes um, and keeping in touch, but... All I can say is life and health. That sums it up. I can't, I can't really go, you know, any more than that. There's, life is life. Um, so, it's been a couple months. Um, so I figured, instead of trying to figure out what I showed la last time and just do all of this funky stuff. Well, here I am. I'm going to come at you and just throw a whip parade right in your face. Mid-year whip parade. We're going to do it today. So I have spent most of my morning putting together all my notes from the whip parade I did in January, which was late because of Christmas. Um, and so we're going to, we're rolling it back. We're going back old school. I'm not going to have my boy edit this video. I want to be able to grab screenshots from this versus pictures of pictures. Um, I am going to be showing you printouts. Um, and some are not printed or they didn't print good. Um, good enough quality. So I have my tablet. I'll be showing you stuff on there. We're going to try to work with this ring light. Hubby got me a ring light for my birthday. And being the first video, I haven't played with it much yet. So we're gonna try. Um, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at my notes. Okay, so Midger Whip Parade. Today is Monday, June 12th, 2023. Um, and where are we going? Um so I did go back and check my whip parade in January. And at that point in time, I had 17 projects with one focus piece for this year. Putting together all my notes because, mm, yeah, I had I had some I had some new stuff coming in. Um, so I am at 21 projects to show you today. Um, and I think I actually forgot one. And you know what? It doesn't matter. I'll talk about it, but I'm not going to go dig it out if I don't have it out here with me because it hasn't gotten any work since the last whip parade and it probably won't get any work before the next whip parade. Let's just be real and honest. So, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I am going to start with, I have these in the, not a, like a specific order, but I did, um, do somewhat of an order like showing you and if I have it even written down right who the who the hell knows with me um things that I've worked on since January um and then I've went into like I had a restart maybe two I don't remember see the brain's mush I have to read the notes um organized chaos remember remember me jeep girl Jeep girl case. I organized chaos. I didn't even introduce myself to those who don't know. Hi, I'm case. I'm Jeep girl. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. We're off to a great start. Great jumping right back in feet first. Okay. And then, then I'll go into like the new starts and, um, yeah. Oh, let's just, let's just do it. Okay. Um, I do have water. I don't know how long this is going to be. I'm rambling. Five minutes of rambles. If you know, you know. 
99% of my projects are heaven and earth designs. They are full coverage. All of my whips are full coverage. Um, I did a few smalls in the beginning of my journey a year ago. Um, and just kind of jump back in with like some smalls and you know easy stitching getting into it and then bam head first rabbit hole full coverage um so if it's not having enough designs i will let you know where i got it um and then i'm also going to um i lost my train of thought oh Sorry, they're all stitched 25 count, one over one, full cross. Okay, everything's in a box, which if I do this correctly, I will be uploading a personal thumbnail picture that I took of my box, me holding my box. Um, everything's still in their project bags, which are those cheap things from Amazon um, and zippers. Sorry, I'm going old school. I'm not... I've already spent it. It's almost five o'clock PM. I've spent most of the day getting ready for this. Got out of the shower and started pulling all my stuff together. And here we are. So let's start. Sorry for crinkles. I have all my projects here. Oof. Jeez. They're packed in tight. So, um, and you know, I, I wear um, noise canceling headphones when I watch everybody's videos and um, the person crinkles don't really bother me unless I have them turned up too loud because they're a soft speaker. I think I'm pretty loud and boisterous. Just saying. I have a big mouth. So um, I think we'll be okay, but again, I apologize if we're not. Okay. First one. I have the project, but I don't have a printout for you because I'm starting out really super awesome here. So, my first one is Voodoo. Um, and while my... Because look at me go. I'm not going back and restarting. I'm sorry, but my tablet's not even booted up. I thought it was. It's not. So all this boots up. Um, Voodoo is one that not everybody, like, is interested in. Um, which I totally got and and that's okay perfectly fine um, not everybody likes everybody's projects but this is one that I fell in love with and I am doing for part of my Halloween theme in my house so let me just pull it up Oof -da. I am a train wreck today not to mention that last night I had to take my shot for my RA and that makes me kind of mushy brained on Mondays. So you're welcome. Um, let's see. Oh goodness. Sorry guys. But I was prepared. It is not to prepare. Okay. Now first one with the ring light. Let's see how we do. Oh yeah. Okay. So artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This is Voodoo. Charter by Heaven and Earth Designs. She party. I like her. So um, I did find out that last time that you saw it, I was at 2.14%. And again, I didn't plan to, I don't know, maybe we'll, if you see before pictures, then Cam and I decided to tackle it. Um, Okay, so the last time you saw it, I was at 2.14%, and now I picked it back up in May, and I am now at 3.48%. So, that's where we're at. So, this was originally started cross-country. Um, I am working on filling all of this in and converting to Royal Rose. And um, in, um, I joined the Fandom Stitching Group with a couple of friends. And um, I'm on Teen Hobbits. Woo woo, go Hobbits! Um, and so we have a special um, challenge for June, which is um, finishes. And because I do full coverage, page finishes count as extra bonus points. So um, I worked on this quite a bit yesterday, and I, I just have this. So this line here is my page end. 
This is not the bottom of this page. I need to go down just a little bit more, but I do not have that much more left to get that page finished done for some bonus points. So that is where we are starting. See the circles? They're distracting. Um, that's where we're starting with this one for mid-year. So, um, yeah, 3.48% on Voodoo. Okay, I'll just sign that back in its envelope. Quick. Sorry, I'm going to zip. I have my dogs. And we know dogs drool. So I'm going to zip that back up. I do have, I have a highlighter. I'm going to mark off. So I can try to keep track on paper. So I showed you that one. Okay, next up is offering. I do not have um, a printed picture for this one. So this is why I thought editing would be good because it saves me a lot of time and pencil. But. Um, we are just going to roll with it. So, offering is Heaven and Earth Designs. It is artwork by Kathy Amaral. Amaral? Charted by Heaven and Earth. I think I already said that. But, so there is that one. Isn't she gorgeous? I love it. I'm going to wow you with this one. So this one, um, last time you saw it was 0.59%. I picked it back up in May and I'm now at 0.96%, which was used in a challenge for, um, one of the challenges It had a lot of stitches you had to do. And so I went with it because it was some good block stitching. So I do have, um, all this filled in, converting it to Royal Rose. If you look, there is um, some green in here. That is actually some hanging plants um, that are coming into play. So not much to show you right now, um, but hey, she got some work, right? That's, I mean, progress is progress. That's all we can ask for. So these projects are, um, they're getting neglected. Why are they getting neglected? Well, because I have a focus piece, which I'll talk about in this as well. But um, I have a focus piece that's taken up all my time. So the things that I work on are kind of hit and miss. And when I need them, I use them. And well, other than that, it's my focus piece. Um, next one is the Reef Max Color, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. This one was inspired by Laura, um, and I believe that um, she changed her channel. Well, she did change her channel name. I don't remember what it was before. I believe now it is Stitching Colors. Now, you have to put the ING in there because there is a stitch in colors, which is just IN, right? No G. So, everything will be linked down below, and you can go check them out. So the Reef Max Color, not a very good printout. Colors are not true. Um, however, this is one that I first fell in love with. This was my first full coverage. Um, I started it on 18 count. I have since then restarted on my 25 count. And artwork by John Enright, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is the Max Color. This is the one. <clears throat> that Laura is doing. Now, Laura started out with the regular and she converted hers into the max color for the detail. Um, and I agree with her. There is so much confetti. You guys, you got to go check out hers. It is beautiful. Um, so, and I started out max color. So I just threw myself in head first rabbit hole. First full coverage. Max color it was not a super size but it was max color. So, um, because of restarting this one, um, the last time you saw it as a restart, I was at 1.05%. And here I am now at 
39%. You guys, look at that fish! And then the shadows of the fish. And then I've got some colors coming in down here, which are, are darker, which is nice for a change up. Um, this one started out as Royal Rose. Um, on the restart, the first one I started was um, just cross country. I found lots of mistakes while trying to convert it into Royal Rose and I just forgot it. We're going to go 25 count, which is my favorite and just restart. And so that's what we did. And so, yeah, 1.39%. This in here is all like checkerboard stitching um, with like three different colors. Um, the detail is fantastic, but whoo, man, this confetti is slowing me down. Um, so this, this is where I'm at and I am going to continue across and fill it in as much as I can by doing row rows. And then um, I'll move the Q-snap. So I've decided to just take everything, work within my Q-snap space, fill that, and then um, with the Royal Rose method, and then continue um, across. So then I don't have to move these as often, which makes me happy. So that is the Reef Max Color. I cannot wait for this one to be done. It's going to be like a gazillion years from now, but... I have finishing plans for this one and I cannot wait. Okay. So, um, mark that one off. Flip the page. What's next? Aha. This is one of my favorite pieces and I don't get to work on it enough and that makes me sad, but it's okay. After this year, this year, game on, Stitchers, game on. Okay, so my next one is my Super Size Max Color Waterhole Master, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, artwork by David Penfound Artworks. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. This one is inspired by the rocking stitcher, Jemima. She has so much done, you guys, it's beautiful. And, um, if you've been with me, you know that hubby and I, um, had talked about a big frame where I could stitch all the way across. Um, and well, let's just say it's a fail for now because of health issues. And so it has come off of that so that I didn't be put a Q snap and, um, sorry, you guys got out of the shower and decided to come do this. My hair is still wet. Um, so been putting a Q snap so I can work on it in my recliner with my feet up and until further notice, that is how it will get worked on. So, um, I did have somebody ask about my PVC frame. Um, so I'll, I'll work on that, showing that, um, without a project in it, or I can put a project in it if you want. If you watch this and you were the one wondering, let me know down below if you want to see it with a project in it because I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, okay, so um, Super Size Max Color Waterhole Master. Um, last time you saw it, I was at 1.11%. Um, I am now at 2.09%. And this is where I'm at. So, um, yeah, I decided that, yes, I wanted to move this into um, a Q-snap. And because I want to see work and it's like uber big, because if I do this, this is my material and that is doubled. So 25 count, it's going to be big. So, on this one, I don't want to work all the way across with just a 10 by 20 block row. It's going to take me too long. I don't want to do it. Um, however, once I get more done on this and things improve, 
um, where I can put it on my big stand, then I will put it back on the PVC frame and continue to work on it where I can see all of it all at once um, as I go across. So stay tuned for more on that. A um, little bit to tell you on this one. Um, Kelly from Kel Stitches and Darren, the Dizzy Stitcher, um, are also working on this one. Um, I don't remember what versions they're doing, but um, we're all at different places, and I think Kelly did a center start, so she's got some really good work on her zebra. So um, I'll link them down below. Go check out their progress and see where they're at. But I am in awe of the detail. I am much happier with this being on um, 25 count, doing one over one full cross. I started it on 22 count um, to make it a little bit smaller than if I did it on 18 count. Um, I did two over one full cross. I did not like it. It looked fuzzy and pixelated because it was the thread was fuzzy and just not happy <sighs> lots of mistakes I tried to take out my mistakes on 22 count and ended up putting a hole in my fabric wah, wah, wah. which is fine <laughs> because now I'm happier and I'm getting more done on it so the detail is fantastic and I should be coming to an elephant soon which is the reason primarily the reason for this piece the elephant is fantastic um yeah so i can't wait to get there so everybody knows i'm itching to get to that elephant and i'm i'm working on it. i'm getting there this will get some more love um this week i have some challenges in a couple different groups i'm in so that is my starting point for that one and you know crinkles Still with me? You hanging in there? I haven't bored you yet? Okay. Um, next up. Not a favorite by very many, by any means. However, I love her. Um, and this one is not in a Q-snap because I stole the Q-snap for something else. So I'm just going to fold it real quick. Um... This one is Max Color, The Hangit's Tree. And I will bring up a picture on my tablet because I don't have a printout. This one um, was um, started because I seen it. Um, Sean was doing it. Um, Sean is used to be um, lost in books, film, and floss, I believe. He has um, a new channel name. Oh, I can't remember. Sean, I'm sorry. I haven't heard from you in a while either. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'll link him down below. Anyhow, Sean. A lot of you probably know him. He's been around for a while. Um, he does lots of super cool projects. And he showed this one. And this is the Hangit's Tree Max Colors. Is that she gorgeous? I know not everybody's liking. However, I love her and I'm going to do her. So, let's see. The last time you saw this one, I, I couldn't find a percentage on any of my videos. But I did find on one of my videos where I had shown you that I had done 1,377 stitches. But I didn't tell you the percentage. So, um, I'm just going to move these. Um, and let's see. And now I'm at 0.82%. Reading off my notes. Um which is 3,182 stitches. So that puts me, what, almost about 1,500 stitches more than what I had. So, yeah, this is just the start. It's very, very confetti heavy. 
Um, yeah, it is a max color. I did tell you that. Um, so lots of um, checkerboard stitching again, um, where you've got you know two or three colors, and you're doing you know the every other you know the, the it's it's monotonous, um, just bazonkers. However, the details fantastic. So, um, yeah, she doesn't get worked on much. Um, like if I get a prompt that I have to stitch on something, you know, with a tree or, you know, like the, one of the prompts I have, um, in fandom stitching is for, is it fandom stitching or is it daily 30? I don't remember. Anyhow, um, one of those is, um, to stitch on something with birds and bonus if it's a raven or a blackbird. And that one has, they're black birds, like silhouette birds, so, and usually ravens are around that type of scenery. So I don't know, but I'll get bonus points for that one. So she's going to come out for that. Okay. Um, next one is one that took me forever to find. Um, because of Waterhole Master, I was looking for a piece that, um, as a companion piece to that, that had monkeys in it. And I searched and searched and searched. I could not find a piece that spoke to me. And everything that I searched on Heaven and Earth Designs didn't come up with what I was looking for. Well, I took one day when they were having a sale and I went through and I looked at every single pattern that Michelle and her team has charted. It took me three days, but I did. And only by doing that did I find this pattern, which I love so much. Humanity Defined. This is the mom, the dad, and the baby. Are they orangutans? monkeys. Anyhow, I love it. So it is max color. I wanted every little bit of that detail in there. And I love it. But if you put in the search bar, monkeys, orangutan, orangutan, chimps, apes, um, anything like that, these don't come up. This one did not come up. So, um, I'm glad, I'm glad that I took three days away from stitching. I sat down, I went through every chart on their site. I put a ton in my wish list because of that. Um, I own a bunch more now because of doing that, but I found this pattern. I found my unicorn. So the last time that you saw this one, I was at 9.06% and in the middle of converting it to Royal Rose, I am now at 9.39%. So not a lot. I did take it out of the Q-snap so I could show you the whole thing. So yeah, not, not a ton of work on this one. Um, I started here converting to Royal Rose got sick of all the confetti ninja stitches, <laughs> jumped across to here and started just going across. And then I came back, um, filled in a little bit more, forget it. I'm done. And I went back again. So not a lot of work has been done on this one. Um, but it's, I'm going to bring it in super close. I can't see what you're seeing. Okay. I'm going to stand up. So if I bring it in super close, there are tons of colors. I never, ever thought I would work in this pattern. So isn't that awesome? And they're all going to blend in to make that beautiful piece. And there's his eyes. So I did find the daddy's eyes. So, um, I have a lot to work on here. 
and um, I have been asked a lot of times um, since I started out cross country um, before I learned how to do the Royal Rose. Um, I've had a lot of questions on how am I converting them to Royal Rose. So um, I try to explain. I'm not a very good explainer, which I'm sure you've figured out from my videos that I kind of suck at all that. Um, but I thought maybe I would go ahead and do a stitch with me with some of these pieces and um, that I'm converting and just kind of talk through it as I'm stitching. Um, just to kind of show kind of how I deal with it. Um, sorry, knocking you all around my cords right there. Um, so I think that that's what's going to be um, written in as a, a future video. Dang it. Because, um, I'm a visual person and I think a lot of us that stitch are. And so I just think it would be easier for me to explain um, on a, on a stitch with me, um, than trying to put it all into words. So that's why I was going with that. So, um, that'll be, that'll be a future video. Okay. This next one was um, a gift from my friend Steph over at Total Stitch Show. So, long story short, Steph seen Maxine from A Nightmare Before Stitchmas working on this one. So then Steph grabbed it. Well, then Steph was like, ooh, I think that Case will like it. So she gifted it to me. And then I started it. And then I found Carrie, the patient stitcher, who was also working on it. So we have like this group of us that are working on it. And in watching some floss tube, I did find that there's a few more working on it. So yeah, we should totally get like a hashtag, you guys. And um, unless there's already one out there, if there is a hashtag for Trick or Treat by Randall Spangler, let me know. So that I can let everybody else know. And we'll work on um, posting our update pics. Because Carrie's back. Carrie's done hiking and Carrie's back. So I'm excited to get um, get chatting with her again. Because I've missed her dearly. So, Trick or Treat. By Heaven and Earth Designs. Randall Spangler. This is the regular. Detail on <coughs> this is fantastic. One second. Buddy, it's fine. You're okay. Um, maybe hubby's home already. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Anyhow, this one. Love working on this one. This one, again, started out as cross country. And I am converting this one as well to Royal Rose. Take it out of the Q-snap so I can show you how far across they've been. Hi, Tori. Nope. Go sit, sit down. Sit. No, one second. Tori, sit. Thank you. She's right next to the cord. I don't want her to knock the whole thing over. Okay, so the last time that I showed you this one, I was at 1.33%. And I am now at 2.01%. So, did take it out of the key snap as far as, like, down that I've gone and just wrangle the fabric here. Okay, there we go. So that's this one. Um, so I have been, I got all the way across to here and decided that I wanted to go back and work on what was in my Q snap. So that's where, that's what we've done. So.
so with this one I have gone back I have worked a ton of these confetti stitches in you'll see I still have just a few left in here um, and then this one will be completely converted so I love working on this piece these details and colors are so fun to work on and again I'm not getting as much done as I want it's the theme for this year hashtag lots of pressure hashtag secret stitching hashtag never doing it again <laughs> so, <laughs> I have committed for this year I am not committing again um, yeah so um, 2.01% I've almost got it all converted. This one might be a good one to do um, also as a stitch with me just to show it how I'm coming back and just tying all those colors in and just focusing on 10 by 20 blocks. So I love this one. So I am excited that Carrie's back. This one is Carrie's favorite that she has. Um, and so I'm excited for her to get working back on this one um, when she's all settled down. And we can see her update progress. And um, yeah, just, you know, I love seeing where everybody's at. I am way behind everybody else. But that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, next up. I will have to show you on my tablet. This is one that is being um, stitched with Tara from One Stitch at a Time and Angie from Angie Slowly Crafts. This one, um, Angie had started um, and she's doing the mini. And then um, Tara mentioned that she had it. And then I'm like, oh my gosh. I have that one. I'm going to do it. And then come to find out we all have different versions that we're doing. So, um, so Angie's doing the mini and Tara is doing the regular size, regular color. And I jumped in and said, I've got max color. I don't mind doing max color. So I'm doing regular size, max color of the nativity. So here's this one. Isn't that beautiful? And this is artwork by Donna Gelsinger. I should probably eat something. It looks like I'm getting shaky. So, everybody started in a different spot too, which is so fun. So I'm going to link those, those channels down below. Go take a look. Cause it's so much fun. And then the hashtag is hashtag baby in a manger cell. And that'll be in the description box below too. So if you're working on it, come join us. Um, the last time you saw this one, um, I was at 0.69%. And now I'm at 1.40%. So for being max color, this really isn't all that bad. Dot, 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 yet. So palm trees, which are... You know, Jen, the Cafe Crafter, it's her favorite. She loves palm trees. <laughs> so, lots of palm trees, just for you, Jen. But the detail in this is fantastic. So, I'm excited to get some more work done on this one. Hashtag all the whips, right? Um, yeah, so, I just work on this one. Um... When a challenge calls for it, I work on this one. Um, especially, this one gets a lot of work done on it. Um, when I have the challenge prompt to work on something that has a hashtag and is a sale. So, um, that one usually gets pulled out for like at least 300 stitches. But again, now I've got like some other ones that you will be seeing. That um, well, they've jumped into my little whip pile. I can't help myself. Oh. All right, next up, this is project number nine. If you're keeping track, I did. Um, so not not a ton more to go. This one 
is one that I found on the Heaven and Earth Designs website. And I fell in love. And knowing Steph, Total Stitch Show, um, and her vibe as well, I messaged her. I'm like, hey, you want to stitch this with me? And she's like, heck yeah. I'm like, perfect. Send in you the chart. And I sent it over. Um, well, technically the website sent it, right? Because I put it in this rack and then they send the email. Anyhow, I told her, it's coming. <laughs> so we have All Hallows Eve. This is artwork by Donna Gelsinger as well. She has some fantastic pieces. So get you in there close. Take a look. Isn't it so cool? I love this one. Um, so, and then I found out that uh, Tania um, from Stitching Addicted is going to do this one as well. She's going to join us. So, um, I still haven't checked. I have to check and see if the, the sale name that I want to use is available, um, on Instagram. And if it is, then I'll, I'll let y'all know. We're going to start using a hashtag. So if anybody is working on this one, um, stay tuned, stay updated because I plan to put together a hashtag for this because, um, life gets busy and I want to see everybody's updates and not everybody has plus two. So. Um, let's see. La, da, 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 da. Last time you saw this one, 2.64%. And I am now at 3.87%. So, yeah. This one has been converted to Royal Rose. Um, I didn't have a whole lot done when it was time I decided that I was converting everything. So this one didn't take me too long to get converted into Royal Rose. So it's not black. Steph has lots of black um, projects and she <laughs> this one's not black. It's 939 and a bunch of purples and pinks and just I'm trying to see what you're seeing. Absolutely gorgeous. This one will have um, some it calls for uh, Krynik. Um I didn't get Krynik. Uh, I will have to um, show you like in another video. I didn't grab it. Um, it's not Krynik, but I did. Um, I found some floss at Michael's when my mom and I went for my birthday. Um, and it's, it's a cotton floss um, with some glitter in it. Like a tinsel strand, maybe? Um, it's a pretty color. It's, uh, I looked at the, the chart and to see where that number was going to go. And I think it's going to blend in very nicely. It is also a color that um, I need to use. I kept in mind that Toy Shop, which you'll see, um, also calls for 032 Krennic. So in the propellers of the airplane. So I picked out a color that could go for both and I bought, um, I bought two skeins, I think two or four. Anyhow, they were I'll come to find out they're like half off. I didn't know that. Um, so it's a color that I think will look fantastic in both. It's not Krynik. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, I'll show you, but I'm going to play with it and I think that it'll be okay. And I think I'm going to like it. Okay. Moving on. Next up is Olaf. So, um, this is a pattern on Etsy and this one caught my eye, not only because it's stained glass, but because it's Olaf and... <sighs> I can chart it myself. I didn't feel like it. And I was trying to find a piece for Dylan um, back when I first started stitching and jumped into full coverage. So this one caught my eye and this is it, what it is. So this one's fun. It's, I've seen a lot of other people who um, are working on some stained glass ones and they're like doing all of the black and then going back and filling in color. And 
that's awesome. So that was my thought. Um, and then I had a prompt for a challenge and I don't remember what it was, but I needed to do something for it, which is where I started adding in some color. So there's not a lot done on this one since you've seen it last. Um, last time I was at 2.19% and this time, um, oh, well I just folded it inside out. Well, that does, that's just not going to work. Um, <laughs> Oh man, what a train wreck. I feel like I'm on the caboose. When I was a kid, I used to call it the caca de boost. I couldn't say caboose for some reason. It was the caca de boost. Okay, so <laughs> back to Ola. I'm now at 3.22%. Again, I kept with the black. Um, I had to do... 900 stitches in black, I think. Um, and so I did that. But for another challenge, I did need to do something with colors. There were certain colors, I think. So um, I did start adding in some color. But this is where this one sits. So it comes in very, very handy for um, any of those challenges where you need to stitch, like, all black. Because it's such easy stitching in all black especially being in Pattern Keeper. So, um, yeah. That one, I've got some more work on it when I've got a... Um, that zipper doesn't sound like it's doing well. <laughs> um, that one, I'll get some more work on it when it's time to do some more bulk stitching. All right. Let's see. What's next? Let me mark that one off. Oh, yeah. One of the ones I went gung-ho on last year. It's a mini. My first mini. And I've gotten quite a bit done on this one. Um, again, because of a lot of block stitching. Um, this is Mini Snow Merlot by Heaven and Earth Designs. This is, again, artwork by Donna Gelsinger. Isn't she? Hey. Isn't the snowman cute? I just, I love it. Snowmen, wine, that's my jam. And the colors in this are fantastic. Although, <laughs> I am getting burnt out on blue. Which sucks, but, and then because of that, I am also, like, this one, again, this one started out as, um, oh, cross country, trying to convert it, kind of, sort of, whatever working on it um try to fold it to get it looking half as decent but okay so last time you saw it 23.11 percent we are now at 25.51 percent and this is where we're at so you can tell where i've started to convert um, I went back in here, filled in tons and tons of ninja stitches. Um, I have found the snowman's nose right there by the star. This, this point right here will be his carrot nose. Of course, I found the wine glass. I think that was there the last time that you guys seen it. Um, I have lots and lots of confetti stitching to do in this star. The star is crazy. So... I will show you that I do not have much done in this star. So you can see some of the lighter stitches here. Um, yeah, that's going to take a while. That needs to have the right head space. Not to mention I need to stitch over all of these tails. Um, I need to stitch over them so I can snip them. Uh, so that's taken a while. So there's a lot of confetti to still continue to work on with this one but I'm loving how it's looking it's um, I don't know what I'm gonna get to once I get to that snowman so I don't really want to work on him um, until I've gotten all this confetti done it's completely converted to royal rose and I am like literally going across to work that snowman in the royal rose because I know they're gonna be light colors and um, 
it's gonna hurt my eyes if I if I try to do all of that in confetti. So this one will be. I will get to that snowman when I've cleaned up my mess I've made. <laughs> so, <laughs> meaning confetti ninja stitches. Okay. So. But I do like working on that one. I just get burnt out on the blue if I work on it too much. Okay. We're at number 12. This is a baggie. This one was inspired by Sharon over at Fun with Cross Stitch. I seen her working on this and it, it gave me complete I spy old vintage hippie vibes. So this is Super Size Max Color, the toy shop. There's a lot going on. So I'll bring you in and see all the different detail on this one. It's so cool. And Sharon has gotten so much done. She's been, I think that's been one of her focus pieces this year. Um, and of course we know that I have a focus piece, which is different. And, um, so she has a ton done and I love, love, love watching her progress. Okay. For some reason my Q-snap is not tightened. I don't know. I don't loosen my fabric and I don't pull these out. I know they stay in the Q-snap because I'm going to work on them. So they stay in there, but not naughty. I don't care. Okay. Lots of fabric to rustle because this is a super size. Um, let me tell you. Last time you saw it, 0.78%. I am now at 1.07% confetti hell, but fun. So, I have not searched any of my material because I'm a rebel. Um, so, um, I have been converting this one again to Royal Rose, which has taken me a bit and because of all the confetti, but you can now tell that I have a plane and I was super excited to get through all of this and finally find these flag banners because, oh my God, that ceiling was so detailed and confetti heavy. And I've never been so happy to see a color red. <laughs> so the plane um, is fun to work on. There's so much detail. And right in here for the propeller is where I plan to use the, um, the substitute that I got for the 032 Koenig. And let's bring it in. So you can see, there we go, all of that detail fantastic so you definitely have to go check out Sharon over at fun with cross stitch um, again I will link her down below um, and go if you don't know who Sharon is you gotta go take a look she also has a Facebook group um, and we all post updates in there as well and she does challenges and stuff to keep people engaged so really really super fun um, and she's got some amazing projects and she also just had a finish and that turned out awesome. So, um, okay, that one's done. 13, if you've been with me for a while, you know that this became my monogamous stitching um, and a decent or well in December, November and December, I think, um, because, well, my mom challenged me and I failed, but I gave it my best shot. So that's all we can ask for. Um, and I haven't, I haven't worked on this one. Um, it hasn't really called to me. I put in a little bit on it. Um, I think I needed to do 300 stitches on something. Um, so anyhow, um, this one is checking it twice. Max color, heaven earth designs. Again, 
artwork by Donna Gelsinger. So how stinking cute is that? I love it. If I move it back, the light's kind of trying to blow it out. So anyhow, I love this one. This one is so much fun. Um, it is confetti, a lot of it. Um, but this one I started out as Royal Rose and I, um, did not, uh, have to go back and clean anything up, which I was thankful for. So, um, I'm going to try to do this. Okay. So last time you saw this one, I was at 7.56% and now I'm at a whopping 7.64. So that tells you it didn't get much work. But this is where I'm at. So, um, tons of confetti, but the detail is just amazing. So I'll bring you in a little bit closer here. Those ornaments and the lights, it just looks so real. I'm going to bring you across, trying to make sure that I am still within view. I can't really see what you're seeing, but I'm going to take you all the way across. And there you go. So, um, again, uh, what I decided to do with this one, um, let me put my, my Q snap back on to my snap back onto my cue. Is that how it got? I mean, I don't know where cue snap, quick snap, cue snap. Anyhow, let me put that back on so I can keep it tight and show you. So, um, I decided to, again, pull this one back out. Um, I've made it, you know, all the way across, but I have decided that I will be focusing on what's in my cue snap and not can keep going across. I know it's not a long one, so as far as, um, it doesn't take that long to get across, but I want to see, I want to see more here. Um, it's easier to see progress in big chunks for me to stay motivated. Um, and I love being able to get all the way across. Um, but again, not having, um, Oh, there's a needle. Sorry, there's a needle in there. Um, not having, um, a, having it, you know, in a scroll frame. Um, it tends to uh, get frustrating. So that's where I'm at. I just want to see bigger progress. I love the Royal Rose. I'm going to keep doing that. But I am going to work uh, within my within my Q-snap area. So, and that way there too, it'll be easier to show progress because um, I won't have to take it out of the Q-snap as often. And, and the pictures, you know, they'll show like going forward, you know, I'll be able to show you where I was, where I'm at now, and it'll all be like within that same thing versus trying to just see this much on camera of this giant. Okay, enough rambling. I'm losing daylight. Next is Super Size Max Color A Stitching Show. This one is also having an earth design. This is artwork by Amy Stewart, so you already know what you're in for. Um, this one was because of Carol from C Zook and a bunch of her stitchy friends decided they were going to do a sale. And I love the detail in this chart and I love how, um, just vintage it looks with all the big poofy dresses and stuff. So I decided I'm going big or I'm not doing it. I want all the detail. I don't care if it's a huge tapestry. It doesn't matter. I may never finish it. I, I don't know. I just don't know, but I wanted to do it. So I'm an adult and I can so if we bring you in, um, there's like all the bookshelves, there's four different seasons going on and, um, 
yeah, it's cool. It'll be fun. It'll be good when it's done. If that ever happens. Um, I did start out again cross country and I am slowly transitioning this piece over. You guessed it. Royal Brooks. So, um, last time you saw this 0.44%. I am now at 0.50%. Ta-da. So, I do remember the last time you saw it, I was just working up here, filling this in as Royal Rose and converting it. And now I'm, I'm down here. So, this one is very confetti heavy to get that detail, which is fine. It just slows me down. So I don't mind doing super size max color. I don't mind doing any max color of any size to get the detail, especially knowing that I can go ahead and do this in, in the Royal Rose method to keep me on track of where I'm at so I don't lose my spot. So yeah, this one is going to get some work this week. Um, I have, hmm, what did I figure? I think I have four challenges that I need to do that this one is like the only one that fits into those. So I've got a lot of um, heavy confetti stitching ahead of me, but it'll be nice to get some progress on that one to show you guys next time. Okay, um, next, all new projects fell down in the box. We're almost there guys, so sorry. Okay, next up is a restart. Um, this is project number 15 if you're keeping track so that you know we're almost done because my phone's telling me I'm over an hour, which I figured, which is why I really don't feel like editing. Um, this is Mini Becoming Grave by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, this is Terry Rosario. Sorry, I couldn't read it backwards. And I just fell in love with him. Um, I thought about going back and getting the regular version versus the mini. Um, but over the last year and things that I've learned, I think with it being a big, a big picture focus, like it doesn't have a ton of detail, like little things like stitching shelf. Um, I think that's going to be okay. We're, we're crossing fingers and we're hoping, right? Um, and, and this is just a measly little start. This is nothing, nothing to write home about by any means. I'm trying to find my, oh my God, what is going on with me? Good grief. Okay, so you won't have, you won't see much because... Hold on. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry. Um, <laughs> not much progress. Too many lighter colors on white fabric. So we'll let that focus in. That's it. I'm at a whopping 0.58%. That's it. It's piddly. It's sad. Oh, well. I'll get back to it. Um, I have to be in the mood to get through those lighter colors because they hurt my eyes. So, that's where that one is. Wah, wah, wah. Next up is Mini Vampire Dragonling. I have seen this stitched and it looks fantastic and I believe it only comes in a mini because I think I was looking for like a regular size and there isn't one so um, yeah so this is 
artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And I like her. She's not everyone's fave, and that's okay. Because it doesn't matter, right? It's fine. Um, last time you saw this, I was at 2.32%. I am currently at 3.37%. So, um, just kind of working across. Um, trying to get some more work done on it. It's not a whole lot going on, but the colors are kind of fun. And you kind of got like this creepy spooky vibe going up. So I'm hoping that um, after this year is up, once this year is up, I'm not committing myself to anything. I don't care. I'm not committing myself to camping or anything <laughs> because these projects need some love. So, okay. One, two, three. Four. Okay, six. Six more, I think. If I know how to math today. This one is a new start. Now, if you were with me, you know my plans were to not have any new starts this year unless I got a project to 50% and whoop out the window that went because I kept going back to this piece and back to this piece and my birthday was coming up my birthday was in April I know I sucked and didn't do a video then either um and so I was gifted some money by Jen my stitchy friend um to go get fabric to do a birthday start and with the money that she gave me I was able to get my fabric to do two birthday starts so let me pull this one up on pattern keeper this one um, is inspired by Mad Morty and her and I have talked about this one Excuse my squeaky chair. This is Siren's Lament. Artwork by Ann Stokes. The colors in this are gorgeous. The teals and the blues, they are so close to um, all of my work that I'm putting into the reef. One second, guys. And Mad Morty's. Morty, yours looks fantastic. I love it. Morty gave me permission to start this one. She gave me permission to buy it first. And then she gave me permission to start it. And then Jen provided the funds so that I could. So, this is a new start. And um, I am at... 1.93%. Just get you close to see those colors. The detail. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh. I love working on this. This one got quite a bit of work because um, in fandom stitching, we did um, for May, uh, we did a mania um, where there was a few different options. So you could stitch for one project for 15 days for X amount of points, one project for 23 days, X amount of points. You could do 15 new starts for 15 days or 23 new starts for 23 days. And I decided I wanted to do some monogamous stitching. So I, on this one for just for that challenge for the month of May. Um, so I started, I pulled this one out. This one became my monogamous stitching just for that challenge. So I got quite a bit of it done. Um, and it looks fantastic. The detail is amazing. Um, yeah, so this one got work done 
um, 15 days in May. And what was our goal for that one? 200 stitches each day for 15 days. I aimed to do 23 and then life happened. I ended up in the hospital and everything. It's, it's just a huge issue. So I didn't, but I did make my 15 day mark, which made me happy. And I cannot wait to pull this out and do some more on this one because it's just so much detail already and it's looking so fantastic. So watch out, Morty. I'm coming for you, baby. We'll see. We'll see who gets what done before the end of the year, which you're already way ahead of me. And I have a focus piece that's not that one. So we'll compare notes in the December whip three. Um, my other new start, um, I did it when Jen asked me like what I wanted to do for birthday start. I did share the pattern with her. Um, I don't have it printed. I don't, it's not in my bag, so I don't think I printed it. Um, I did share with her why I wanted to start this one and the meaning behind it, um, to me. Um, I'm not going to go into detail here. Um, but some of you that I chat with behind the scenes may, may understand where I'm coming from with this one. But this one was the one that I just, I had to start. It's Josephine Wall. It's the first, not the first pattern that I own of hers because I own a couple now. But this is the first one that I started. So, and we know, um... I'm sorry, Angelie's Angels is what this one's called. And um, we know from other people stitching these that they are very, very confetti heavy, um, even though they're just regular size, regular color. So my start on this one, um, I started and got myself to 0.67% starting out doing the Royal Rose method and um, not much work done on this one however it was a birthday start I did get um, that far into it and I'm I'm excited to get some more work done on it um, it just has not fit into a prompt yet to get more work done on it um, but I'm ex I'm excited for all the detail in that one, I see so many Josephine Wall pieces being worked on, and the detail is phenomenal, and you guys rock. So, next up is Quick Stitch Max Color Phantom of the Opera. Yes, I went Max Color. Yes, sorry, I just moved you again. I know I'm a nut, and yes. I already knew I was crazy, so that doesn't bother me. This was started um, for the Teresa Made Me Do It sale. We needed to um, pick something mm, fancy. That was a fancy lady or a fancy man or a fancy mermaid um, or a fancy merman. Um, so Stitching Mirabel, Mirabelia's, Bella Filipina's, all of those, like, that's, they're beautiful. I love seeing your guys' pieces. They're just, for me right now, not in my vision sight. Um, because I love the full coverage and the fact that I don't have to count a super whole lot. <laughs> so I pulled this one. Um... Hubby and I love Phantom of the Opera. He actually got to go see them perform um, in Canada for a school trip. And so we are looking to find when the next show will be so that we can both go watch it. Excuse me. Together. So artwork by Amy Stewart does not look great from the picture. Um, and I don't know why my is doing that because it's it's brand new ink and some things print fine and some things don't so I don't know um so um 
I haven't touched this since January and um, in that wet parade. Did I? I don't even know. Anyhow, as of right now, here it is 1.56%. So this one was getting worked on like every Sunday um, when we would get together for uh, Teresa Little Stitcher's um, lives. And then um, life happened, and um, I just haven't gotten back to it. Um, I have the prompt, of course, for um, yeah, for working on a sow for 300 stitches, but this one just hasn't called to me. Um, the colors are a little, little rough on my eyes, um, but we'll get there, and. I just have to be in the mood to do this one. So, um, I love it, but, and I know I can't get to those other colors that don't hurt my eyes until I get through that. But, you know, it is what it is. So, where are we at? Okay. Okay, number 20. Maybe I have 22 projects to show you. Material, cotton, fabric. Because I'm not surging my pieces. Okay. I'll show you this one. This is out trick-or-treating. Um, a restart. That I thought about and remembered about at the end of putting my stuff together. So this is artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith and I love this one I love all my Halloween I love all my pieces I love all my Halloween pieces what I love them all I want to work on them all. we know how that goes next year my friends next year okay so um, I have not touched this one either so again, this one is just sitting because it was a restart. Um, I started with row rows and it's at 2.05%. So bring it in. You can see the detail coming in. So fun. Um, just really hasn't been one to pull out lately. But I will get back to this one as well. Um, okay. I did not grab Snow Much in Love because I already started this night. I wasn't pausing. I wasn't going back. I'm not. Whew. I'm just being a rebel today. Um, okay. This one. If you have been with me or seen my other whip parade, you know that I started this one, wasn't very far into it. Um, it is my first circle piece, round piece, so I had to check, double check, double check, double check, make sure that um, I was starting it where I needed to start it. I started it doing confetti or cross country. With it because of the confetti, I was trying to just follow my thread where it took me, and um, I fell out of love with it, you guys. I love it, but I hate it. Um, so it's still in the naughty box, and obviously, I don't feel great enough to grab it. Bring it out. I haven't worked on it, it's been in the naughty box since my whip parade. <laughs> it's staying there for the foreseeable future. Um, but um, I am going to convert it when I pull it out and finally work on it. It will get converted to Royal Rose. I'm hoping that that will give me the push that I need to continue on with it. But again, I'm not dealing with that piece probably until January, February of next year because I just, I've got too much on my plate and I can't. I can't. I can't deal with it. I can't. Okay. Last piece we're going to talk about. 
So technically, maybe that puts me at 22 pieces. Possibly. Okay, so I'm going to get comfy now because, like, the hard work is really done. And I'm going to read from notes and chitty chat and just spend some time with you for a few minutes. I know I'm at an hour and 20 minutes. I know that previous videos were super short because I was having Cam edit. Um, and trying a different, a few different things. So, oh, and everybody has commented and said that they miss my long videos. Well, here you go, peeps. I got you on this one. So let's chat for a few minutes. We'll just see, I don't know, hour and a half maybe. I gave you enough time to do some stitching. Okay, um, secret piece. For those that are new, I have a secret piece for my hubby that I am working on. I started at January 2nd. Um, it is my focus piece that gets worked on whenever he is not home. Um, and it is uh, coming along now. Um, last video when we chatted, um, it is a heaven and earth design, regular size, regular color, same 25 count one over one full cross so the last time we chatted I was at 10.93 percent and that would have been in March and at that time I told you that I was way behind in my goals well I'm even further behind in my goals so um 10.93 percent um I am now 10 pages complete um, out of 57 pages. I have 47 pages left to go. Now, doing Royal Rose, some of those pages don't have much left to be worked on them and they will be complete. So there is that. However, um, as of Saturday night, um, when I put it down just before hubby got home, um, I was at 24.50%. So, way behind. We are halfway through this year, and I am not halfway through that project. So, plans will be to continue to focus on that one. It is my, every day that I stitch, and I don't say daily stitching because there are some days that I don't stitch. I haven't stitched at all today. And I have to go for an MRI tonight. Hubby will be home in a couple hours to take me for that. And I don't know if I'll get any stitching done because I technically have like three other videos that I want to film for review videos. Um, so I, I doubt delegated today to taking notes, getting all my video material up and ready to go, um, and then work on get it, vi filming and then uploading throughout the week. So tomorrow will be a stitching day. Um, so the plan is to continue to work on that. Every day that I do stitch, that is my focus piece. When hubby is gone, when hubby's home, that piece gets put away and I work on other pieces for my challenges, which is where my other progress comes in. So I will continue to push forward. I will continue to delegate most of my time to his piece. He does know now that I am working on something for him. He does know that it is cross stitch. And as of yesterday or the day before, he does know that it is 57 pages long and I have completed 10. So the big joke is that um, I better have it done by Christmas because I am putting off housework and other activities and stuff just to get this piece done. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I, I do housework when he's home unless it's a day that I can't stitch and then I'll fill in with housework but for the most part this is my focus and this is this is what's gonna get done so we will get there um, he has not seen the piece 
he knows some stats on it. Um, so, yeah, some of you know where I'm at and some of you have not even seen the piece. And um, I look forward to being able to share that with you. I look forward to being able to video the opening um, of that piece when I gift it Christmas morning um, to see the initial reaction um, of my hubby as to what I've been working on all year for him. So what has been filling all of my time, right? Like, um, yeah, what, what did they say? Uh, mm, my alibi. <laughs> this piece is my alibi. And um, another thing is, is that I've been uploading into uh, my app, um, Stitch Pal. I've been uploading uh, progress pics as I take every day that I work on the piece and, and take a photo at the end and upload it. So I plan to put together a, uh, a timeline um, slideshow from start to finish as well for hubby to see and to also put up on my channel. So um, there you go. That's my alibi as to what I have been up to um, this last, past year and why um, I don't care to do housework right now because I have bigger and better fish to fry. Okay, so that's my whip parade. Um, I have a ton of patterns in my stash um, that I want to stitch. Um, some of those are uh, already planned for um, starting as New Year New Starts um, with friends. Um, let's see. What do I have going? Um, Again, if I feel like a new start and I have the material here um, or I need it for a challenge and I have the material, then I will be adding to my next whip parade. But as of right now, um, that's not in my game plan. Um, so, yeah. Let me see. What do my notes say? Pretty much that's everything. Um according to my notes. So I appreciate you all spending some time with me and choosing to click on play to see what I've been up to. I appreciate the loyalty um, and not unsubscribing uh, from my channel uh, just because I haven't posted in a couple months. Um, I appreciate to everyone who's reached out over the last couple months to check up on me and to just love and support me for what I was going through. And I'm not going to get into that here. Uh, possibly in a stitch with me or next video we'll do a life update. Um, but this video is already long enough. Um, so, um, going forward, um, I hope to put out a video in a couple of weeks. Weekly, I think, is too hard because I don't think I have enough progress. I'm going to try for bi-weekly again, trying to jump in feet first again and get going and get motivated. Um, Draco says hi. That's Draco in the background. Um, and, um, yeah, so having a focus piece just really cuts into my other progress on my, my other wish and not much to show you, but I'm going to try to stick to every two weeks, even if I only have, um, my focus piece to show, to talk about the stats on, because literally I, I need to be on a routine. When I'm not on a routine, I get flighty and this is what happens. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to try to be more consistent. Um, I am going to go back to posting on Instagram. I have not done that a lot over the last couple months either. Um, I didn't feel like I had much progress when I only put in a couple hundred stitches on something. Um, it doesn't really look like anything and I just got in my own head and said, screw it. Nobody wants to see that. There's nothing to see. It's a glob of blue. There's nothing there. No detail. Um, I've come back. I've centered and I've gotten out of my head and pretty much I'm at the mindset of who cares if they don't want to see it or hear about it. I'm going to post because it is my journey. It is um, 
what I want to be able to look back on and people will watch what they want and what they don't, they won't. So I'm just going to do what I feel I want to do. And I should have, you know, I should have, you know, pretty much I did that from the beginning, but then, you know, you have times where you just get in your own head and you're like, Psh, nobody freaking cares, you know, buzz off. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at. So with that, I'm going to um, jump off of here, close this down. I'm going to work on getting it uploaded into, transferred over into my computer and then uploaded to YouTube. Um, everything will be in the description below. Um, if I miss anything um, or you have questions, please reach out. Um, most of you are, we're already following each other on Instagram and we chat quite often. Um, same with on Facebook and in the, in the groups. Um, and yeah, we will keep pushing forward. That's what we're going to do. That's the plan. We're going to keep pushing forward. So I appreciate you all. I love you all very much. Um, your love and support is very much appreciated and it is not taken for granted and overlooked. And I'm sorry that I become very quiet when I get hyper focused and um, I'm stuck when I'm stuck in here. So we're going to try to be better. As hubby says, do better. Tomorrow's another day. Do better. So with that, I am going to wish you all a wonderful couple of weeks. I hope that life gives you whatever it is that you're looking for. And from my home to yours, friends, much peace and love. Bye, guys.